We're going to take a step uh, that I'd like to have you share with me. And uh, if you're tempted to do so, why don't you succumb to the temptation? The idea that you'd be willing to fundamentally accept the title of uh, the video I'm going to uh, attempt to convey in the association of the power of our minds to the capacity to heal would have attracted you sufficiently to even watch it is the sign of the maturity that has occurred in your mind and body and heart in regard to a commitment that you made to undergo an experience of healing, okay, of the aggregation of your form association, a systematic way to discover the offering of the power of mind, my mind, that I am sharing with your mind, in the certainty that our minds, in a moment of union and joining, contain the power initially with forgiving love, which extends to a purpose of correspondence that offers us the enlightenment of our minds. So I was talking this morning to the author of the Course, Jesus, our Jesus of Nazareth, and we talked about an issue of actually trying to present to you at this time and place the devices that we employ through the practice of the mind training to bring about instantaneous solutions to objective problems that you have held in your conceptual identity to keep from recognizing yourself as whole and perfect. So I said, what, what title will I give this? And he said, well, since it's a how-do course, why don't you entitle it uh, How to Heal the Sick and Raise the Dead? <laughs> uh, and I said, how to heal? Do you want me to title the video How to Heal the Sick and Raise the Dead? He's uh, axiomatic. The process of the Savior's mind is axiomatic with an assumption from the New Testament, that you are aware that all of the power is given unto you in heaven and earth, and the procedure that he employs and offers to us that I have accepted and undergone my experience of this new capacity is nothing but a demonstration of the power of my mind, which is inherent in all of us. And he gave me a couple of biblical references like all power is given unto you in heaven and earth and there's nothing you can't do and moving mountains is the least you can do and uh, who wants to walk on water when you can ascend to the kingdom and a few other directions concerning the uh, inevitable capacity of, an, of a phenomenal reassociation of ourselves that brings about this healing process. So, we decided to title it uh, How to Heal the Sick and Raise the Dead. And since the, uh, the aspects contained within the intervals of the exchange on this video, wherever you may be watching this, are instantaneous conversions to wellness in a particular sense, it's not possible for you to be watching the instructions that I will be giving you on this video and not feel the joy and freedom of your own resurrection in the proclamation that you are whole and perfect as you were created. Now, the employment of the fundamental teachings of the saviorship of Jesus are to the attention of the necessity to understand that sickness and pain, even unto death, is a decision that you have made concerning your own objective association. Once more, as Sermon on the Mount says, it's very necessary for you to forgive the obstacles of your mind 
that direct your attention to a continuing disease of sequentiality of mind association that defined you so that you can see your own perfection. So the invitation that we have now that we're inviting you as a former objective association of our minds to enter into this instant of conversion are nothing but an offering of the necessity for forgiveness of the loneliness and pain okay, and loss that have given you the limited faculty of the ego of your conceptual mind that constantly demands attention to your body. And that conversion is what's occurring on this video right now. In the last effort, at the conclusion of Lesson 200, there was a description of what healing is in regard to forgiveness or uh, expressing the certainty that you need do nothing in order to be whole and perfect as you were created. And in fact, the undoing of your relationship with yourself in this dark form cannot not occur if you will momentarily invite your enemies come, to come into the aspects and the intervals of light energy form that define us. That was very well done. Now, well, what occurred at that moment? You were healed. The idea of raising the dead is nothing but an idea that when you are in a relationship in time of a correspondence with old associations, you are in a particular sense dead. So we're going to review just the last two paragraphs of a definition of forgiveness so you can see that you need do nothing. And we can then proceed to the idea that the healing light energy surrounds you. And when you momentarily forgive the aspects of your mind, you can see it. Listen. So all of your ideas of death and loneliness are nothing but an unforgiving thought. Listen, an unforgiving thought does many things. In frantic action, it pursues its goal, twisting and overturning what it sees as interfering with its chosen path. Why? Distortion is its purpose and the means by which it would accomplish it as well. It sets about its furious attempts to smash reality without concern for anything that would appear to pose a contradiction to its point. Now, let's look at how healing occurs. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is still and quietly does nothing. It offends no aspect of reality, nor seeks to twist it to appearances it likes. It merely looks and waits and judges not. Are you listening? He who would not forgive must do what? Judge for he must justify his failure to forgive. But he who would forgive himself must learn to welcome truth exactly as it is. Here we go. Do nothing then, and let forgiveness show you what to do through him who is your guide, your savior, your protector, strong in hope and certain of your ultimate success. He has forgiven you already, for such is his function given him by God. Now must you share his function and forgive whom he has saved, whose sinlessness he sees, and whom he honors as the Son of God. So what has been given you is a single moment of the entirety of forgiveness contained within the conflict of your own conceptual association, which offers you an instant relief from your protection of sickness.